saw it. Little backhand towards the front of the net. That was deflected away. Cullen was waiting for it. Now back in front, they score. Brandon Saad took that first shot, eventually came right back out to him, and Saad is able to bury it, and the Saginaw Spirit get on the board on the 16th goal of the year for the fine first-year player, Brandon Saad, in his 18-year-old season. Former first-round uh, draft pick picking up a hat trick last night, and you see uh, the uh, in back of the net goes to Lagan, and a no-look pass to uh, Brandon Saad, and right there for his 16th, he had the hat last night and adds one more uh, tonight for the Pittsburgh area native and the Saginaw Spirit. Scarbosa back to Shala. He winds up, lets the shot go. That's broken up now. Cullen sort of caught fishing a little bit and he scores Brad Walsh. No chance for John Cullen. He was down and out, a scrambly play, and Walsh able to put it home. It's 2-0. And Walsh's first goal of the season, not known as a goal scorer at all. I believe he has four career goals in his uh, OHL season. But uh, as you say, John Cullen down on his uh, on his uh, uh, belly and really out of the out of the play as you see him uh, rolling over. And then the uh, shot as Brett Sullivan was in there trying to play surrogate goaltender. But uh, Walsh with the power play goal at 15-40 seven to give the Spirit a 2-0 lead. Here's an opportunity right out in front of the goal as the Spirit still buzzing in front of the Sarnia net, seeing if they can pick up the third goal of the game. Holacek with Hot Tot drops it back. Here's Alderson. Waits his shuttle on the ice. That's stopped by Galanski. It's still bouncing around. And Holacek says it's in the net. Joel Washkarak can't find it. No uh, notation at all from the official as to, so he's got to come over right away and take a look uh, upstairs. The Stinger celebrating like they've scored. Joel Washcrook did not see where it went at all. Let's see if we can get a look. Yeoman's work by uh, Craig Hotot in there as he was trying to, uh, Alderson got it to uh, Hotot and then Hotot with a loose puck tries a couple of whacks at it and then is able to uh, Goes off a skate, and it looked like it went in back of the goaltender, and the uh, defender cleared it out. But Palachuk right away pointing that it's over the over the line. So we'll wait and see what the official call is. Not able to see anything for really from that angle, anything conclusive, which because it was not called a goal, it, there has to be conclusive evidence now to overrule that it, it. That it was a goal, exactly. So this all happening with 2.02 gone in this second period of play. Good work by uh, Hot Tot as he uh, took two or three whacks at it and tried to uh, jam it by goaltender Golanski. This from a, an over It's a goal. Camera. And I think it is a goal. They have it. It has been signaled. Okay. Right off the face up, Ross and Palachuk. Those two just leaned over and they said, all right, let's go. He's too familiar to this type of game as Palachuk and Ross dance around a little bit. As both trying to get their shots in. Palachuk takes Ross down to the ice, and that'll do it. That's Palachuk showing Palachuk off the Mohawk. The That's right. Didn't last very long. What a spirited affair with three, with 4.13 to go here in the second. They'll, they'll both go to the uh, dressing room for an early, early shower. That's Palachuk probably That's trying to rally the troops a little Sort of USA hockey bias at times, though, the players who have mm -hmm. stuck with the program. But here's an opportunity for Scarbosa on the backhand. He scores. Michael Scarbosa able to move right in. And he beats John Cullen. And now it's a 3-1 hockey game. The Spirit able to restore their two-goal lead. Scarbosa's seventh of the year. As we'll see on the uh, replay, he was sent in alone and was able to... There's a nice lead pass, and Scarbosa goes to the backhand and is able to beat the outstretched John Cullen. So a good spirit with a 3-1 lead at 15-44. Where he scored one of his goals from that off wing on the left wing, but it was blocked. Francisco for Brett Ritchie. Ritchie waits. That rich shot scores! Little toe drag and then top shelf for Brett Ritchie. And with 9.55 to go in the third, they're away. It'll make for an interesting finish now. It's the uh, goal at 10.05, the sixth of the season. For Brent Ritchie, as we'll see here, he just steps over the line, takes a look, drags it, snaps it, and it's 3-2. That's the kind of goals that Brent Ritchie has the potential to score. He did that in Sault Ste. Marie a couple weeks ago as well, just coming down that right wing and let that heavy shot go. Susie. 
Shot well wide of the goal. Rogalski. Now hot talk. Back for Rogalski. Rogalski shot scores! Joe Rogalski from the right point found an opening on Tad Galinsky and put it through and this game is all tied at three. Rogalski from the right point just let one go towards the net. And you heard the puck hit Galinsky's pad and then ricocheted in between his legs and into the back of the net. Watch it here. Hot Hot gets it back to uh, Rogalski, a quick shot, and Golanski uh, just misplayed it, and, and you, we're tied. You maybe see a better, even better shot of it here, as Rogalski will just get this shot off and watch it. it probably hits just the inside and goes in. Joe Rogalski has tied this game at three. Here's Francisco setting up sort of a, a diamond type setup here. Yakupov back to Kerbashin. Spirit not giving Sarni anything. Now Yakupov chance. Golchenyuk scores. Alex Golchenyuk scores it over. And the Sarnia Sting have beaten the Saginaw Spirit by a score of 4-3. to three. Alex Galchenyuk with the winner at the three-minute mark of overtime. A rebound in front. It's a power play goal. And the Sarnia Sting celebrate. There you see Galchenyuk able to find that rebound. And he slides it behind. Tad Galanski, 4-3 is the final here in Sarnia this evening.